If you are struggling with how to create your events website with Cadence completely free, today's video I walk you through step by step what you need to do so you can run your own events website. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am naturally, I'm from Portugal. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. Today's video, I will bring you to you an easy way to make your events website. With this simple system to bring it all together, you can achieve great results. Here are the topics I will be covering. Number one, how to create an event. Number two, how to find in your calendar. And number three, how to set up the single event layout and the event layout inside the WordPress customizer. Install and activate the following free plugins to make the system up. To do so, navigate to your WordPress dashboard, click on plugins and then add new. Do a quick search for these three plugins. Events Calendar Plugin. This is a free calendar plugin that, that helps users create and manage their virtual and in-person events to display them using different view options. The second one is Events Tickets Plugin from the same company. Users can also create as VP and tickets to sell and collect registrations for their events. Or as VP is a French phrase. Répondez s'il vous plaît, which which means please respond the confirmation or an invitation. And number three plugin is Cadence Blocks. It works seamlessly with these two tools. The best part of using this combination is that it makes the process simple for you. To install and activate is pretty simple. Just click twice on the blue button and you are done. Under the Events tab, you will find the Calendar settings. Let's go through all the necessary steps. The General tab, within this first tab, you establish how many events you would like to see per page. It defines the number of events showing on each page. Activate the Block Editor for events. Check this in case you want to use the WordPress editor, the Gutenberg. If you check this, include events in main block loop, it will include events in main block loop. The events URL slug is your permalinks structure. You can change your URL structure for SEO reasons. To do so, navigate over to WordPress dashboard and then permalinks. You can set up, for instance, a custom structure for the category. The Duplicate venues and organizers. This option allows you to automatically merge identical venues and organizers. Down the map settings, you can enable maps for events and venues. You will need to get a Google Map API key and enter in the available field. The time zone settings is a new release. Use one of the two options, use manual time zones for each event or use the site-wide time zone everywhere. Under the display tab, you have to pay attention to the style settings of the template. The tribe event is the default option. It enables the ESS you created for the plugin's appearance, including the colors, the sizes, the spacing and other styles. And the skeleton styles. This option removes most of the plugin's styles. Use this option if you prefer to write your own styles for the calendar without having to overwrite. In the events template below, Choose a page template to control the appearance of your calendar and event content. Under the Enable Events view, you must enable one view at least. Under the Default View drop-down list, the Event Calendar offers the following calendar views right off the box, where it displays events in a chronological list, month and day, the same as List View only for events on a particular day. The default is set to List. Let's enable the tickets e-commerce. Go to event settings and in the payment tab. This is an e-commerce solution included with the events ticket plugin. 
You set up tickets commerce with PayPal. The setup is super easy. Toggle on the enable tickets commerce. You can get started selling tickets for free with tickets e-commerce. Alternatively, you can use the WooCommerce plugin to do this work. Once you click connect to PayPal, you will see a pop-up to log into your PayPal account. Don't worry if you don't have one. You can also register for a PayPal account by following the prompt in the pop-up as well. You can enable the test mode, enabling the test mode for testing payments. The checkout and the success pages are predefined by the event calendar plugin. However, you can select the pages where customers go to complete their purchase. To display this page content, you can use the provider shortcodes. Now you are ready to create a ticket inside the WordPress block editor. Under the Tickets tab is to determine which types of posts support creating tickets. Under the Login Requirements, you can require that users log into your site before they are able to RSVP or to buy tickets. Review this setting carefully if you are running a word membership site. Let's preview my events. And there it is, my list with categories and tags to help me out organizing my content. Review the title, the image, the text, and the extra meta fields. Let's go ahead and add a new one. I call it test. This looks as familiar as the normal blog post inside the WordPress editor that you are given with extra fields. For the price, I just select head price. Below, I enter the price and the description to your attendance. Also, add an organizer. Click on it and, and find your organizer label in case you have already created one or type in and then click on create and then add, you should add your extra details about him is that easy right sidebar don't forget to activate and deactivate the show google maps link or to show the Google Maps embed that's really up to you. The event category in my case is event. And don't forget also to upload your feature image as well. I recommend you keep things organized so you, your attendants can easily find what they are looking for. The best way is by using categories and tags. Moving down in the content area, you can set up the tickets. Click on settings and choose the title. I call it VIP. You must fill in the meta fields and the description. I set the price. Under the advanced set section, you can set up your unique identify code for each ticket type you are selling. And then click on create. Clearly click on create a RSVP to create a new fresh one. You there it is, my test event. Now I want to add a testimonial section into this design, so my visitor can read some reviews. There is a smart and easy way to achieve this with the Cadence tools. So click on the design library at the top and choose your design layout. I like this one, so I click on this, wait a few seconds and then just Publish. In this way, you get a full website section with all the content. Where can I find your calendar outside the WordPress dashboard? Well, you should enable the option in the event settings under the general. So, navigate over to the event settings and under the general, enable the show event calendar link and save it. The second step is Clicking on the events itself at the top of the home page. It opens up and then copy and paste this URL web link. Now open up the home page from the WordPress dashboard, edit, moving down and I want to paste here the web link in this button. I paste here and save it and there you go. So this is how you can set up the single event layout and the events layout inside the WordPress customizer. Find the customizer in the top tool toolbar and navigate to the events calendar tab. There are two options headed by Cadence, the single event layout and the event layout. The single events event layout provides all the options you need to customize individual event pages 
and have them work seamlessly with the rest of your site. The Events Layout option is to use when customizing the main calendar page. Five design layouts to choose from. A normal, the narrow, the full width and width left and the right sidebars. Below you can also set up the background color. And let's create our events page. Navigate to pages and add new. I call it events. I place a one column cadence row block. Inside there I want to add content. I want to show all my events. How do I do this? It's pretty easy. Click on the plus sign to add a block. Then do a search for posts block. These are my blog posts. To display all my events, go to the right sidebar under the Select Post Types section, choose Events. The Events is a custom post type, right? Under the Offset Starting Post option, I set mine to 1, meaning my test event is to be offset. Under the Select Taxonomy section, you can determine the category. I don't want to set up, I like the way it is. Under the Content Settings, from your right sidebar, you can even enable or disable the Read More button and enable the custom Accept Land, which is a great feature. As you can see, it's super easy to create your events website with Cadence and the event calendar free plugins. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!